The chat, uh, Kai said um, earlier in reference to the gamification, said everything should be looked at as a game and you do this, you realize you, the results can be easily changed, therefore less stressful. Okay, I've heard of that. Um, a friend of mine was, uh, I think, I think, no, maybe I'm, I'm thinking of something different. Yeah, I think his was called Game Theory. But, um, but yes, uh, taking the idea that life is a series of games that most people think are very serious uh, and very important can be beneficial because it acknowledges that there are consequences, but it allows you to not necessarily feel life-threatening, immediate life-threatening fight or flight, you know, emotions about the results. You know, you get fired from your job, that sucks, that's going to have consequences, you're going to have things going on. But, if you're like, alright, well, game over, man, uh, I guess I'm going to have to do my one-up thing and go apply for some jobs and go out here and look for something because I can get back in this game and and get going again. You don't have to get all bent out of shape in one of these, you know, you feel guilty about, you know, all the stuff you did or not knowing why, why did they fire me or, oh, it was that manager, he's had it out for me or whatever. Am I going to be able to get another job after this? You know, all of these, okay, can just take you down when things like that happen in life. But what he's talking about with this gamification thing is the idea that we're playing a bunch of different games. And you, when you're playing games, you get serious about it, right? You're playing Monopoly with some good people. You're having a good game going, that's serious, man. You know, you ain't cheating. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. We're, mm -mm. I want to win this. You know, you take it seriously. You have fun with it. You engage with it. But if you lose, you're not going to die. You know, even though I know many people who are very poor sports and will feel very, very upset <laughs> in one of these if they lose just a board game. But that's... That's essentially what we're talking about, is looking at life, uh, according, you know, as Kai said over there, in the idea of like gamification, okay? It's, it's just a series of games. you got to play the game. There's rules. There's consequences. There's rewards, okay? And that's actually a nice way to look at things because there's a difference between, you know, what we feel entitled to and what we feel are privileges, okay? You don't go into playing Monopoly and you feel entitled to having three houses already on the block. No, you have to earn those by landing on the spaces, paying the money, getting the thing. You get the privilege of owning that thing, and therefore you get the privilege of when someone lands on that, you get the money for the thing, okay? It is something you have earned. You have played the game. You have played it well. You have earned that privilege. You're not entitled to it. It's not a right. Someone can take that from you. Okay, someone can take that from you. And so you you look at things like that. It's like, man, somebody, I, I got fired, you know, so I lost my job. Well, that that was a privilege. Apparently, I was not upkeeping that properly. I lost the privilege for that. But I can get back in the game and do a one-up and get another job somewhere else and start earning those privileges again and get right back at it. So it is a beneficial way of looking at things, okay? And we can talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Let me check chat real quick. In games, you have a respawn, so you can F up and keep going. So this is like you have a respawn as long as you aren't dead. Uh, yeah, that, that's not, not a bad analogy. Um, hey, I've seen friendships end because of Monopoly. No, I'm, I'm telling you, man. Uh, some people could get real, real worked up about games, and I mean, I... I you get me really into a video game, man, whew, I mean, some of y'all have seen me stream, you know, there are times when I'm just like, I, I need to stop for a second, and I need to go, like, walk around and get away from this, because I'm about to get real mad at this game, because I keep dying at this point, or whatever it is, so, it, it's definitely a thing, but you, you stay mindful of when your state of being is changing, like, like the example I was given, you know, you, I, I notice when I'm starting to get angry, like I'm not, it's not just challenging, I'm like, okay, I'll do it, but it's just like, oh my god, and I start feeling that change, that's like, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa I need to put this down, because this is not something that, fight or flight chemicals are not going to help me win a video game, okay, other than slightly sharpening my attention and response time, sometimes, getting into that fight or flight, I have nothing to actually use my body to fight or to run from. And so I have no way to exert that. So I'm just going to get more tense. I'm going to get more jerky with my emotions. And if you're in the emotional state, which is generating those, 
You're blinded by that. You see things very, very differently when you're angry, okay, than when you're not, okay? You see things very differently when you're in fear rather than curiosity, okay? You, you got completely different reality tunnels going on when you're in one of these things, okay? And so if I'm sitting there trying to play a video game and I'm angry at it or whatever, I, I'm not seeing clearly. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing in blame of like, this game is stupid, it's, it's just dumb, they, they shouldn't be doing this, whatever, rather than being able to be, okay, here's what's going on, alright, that person's over there, they're on the map over there, paying attention to my radar, whatever it is, okay, if I'm staying in a clear state, I'm, I'm there, I'm able to actually respond to what's going on, rather than react, okay, so we have fight or flight response up here, is what it is naturally, but now... Now, we're not in a response, we're in a reaction. Okay? A reaction, an action again, okay? You are reacting like you have in the past to this. It's not a fight or flight response. This is not an appropriate way to respond to what's happening, okay? You're reacting in anger, fear, guilt, or insecurity. And that just throws everything off, okay? Let me see chat. Uh, me, we don't play with Septi. <laughs> I felt that salt on Halo with you, brother. I, I'm telling you, uh, I used to play Smash with him years ago. Yeah, Hypno Zombies, one of the friends I met when I was in Kansas about 10 years ago. How nuts is that, dude? 10 years ago. Um, yeah, I play League, and when I have a hard loss, I have a rule that I can't play for 10 minutes. <laughs> Uh, or even salty or MTG. Uh, yeah, yeah, magic. Woo, woo. <laughs> that that can get intense. Yeah, you're talking about watching friendships die off of uh, off of Monopoly, man. Woo. I've had some long intervals between friendships just because of magic. <laughs> so, are we clear on this? Is this making sense? Anyone have any questions, uh, clarifications, comments about this particular thing? I'm about to wipe it out and we're going to carry on. Okay? We good? I'm going to give you a second for it to catch up on stream. We were so young, right? <laughs> Oh man, so much has changed in in just ten years. It's it's nuts. Okay, um, since we're not having any questions, we're gonna go ahead and race. Wait, what, what do we get? Uh, it's okay. I beat James at Magic. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Hey, we can test that. We can check that out for self right there, young sir. I say young sir, but you're like my age, so which we're young. We are young. Didn't know this would be karaoke night too, huh? Woo, there it goes. I told you it was going to fall. Everybody have a good laugh. Oh, there it goes. Come on. She's breaking up, Captain. I can't hold her. I'm giving her everything she's got. All right. Okay. All right, we're, we're going to try this again. We're going to do the erasy thing. Oh, no, there it goes. Yeah, I'm missing the screw that goes to this thing. And so, so I was like, man, it could totally go at any time. We'll make it work, though.